double digit deficit in the first quarter. Now you're just fighting uphill the whole game. Uh, to your point, quarters two, three, and four, we outscored them 92 88. So gave ourselves a chance and, you know, we're able to kind of get it going in spurts. But just the start of the game, find yourself down. Uh, it's, it's, it's tough, you know. And then the turnovers, obviously, some of them are controllable, but uh, that, that was a huge key. Uh, 12 points for 21, uh, 12 turnovers rather for 21 points. That's somewhat spin surmountable, you know, so you can't beat yourself, especially on the road. Uh, some of them were controllable, you know, is that even more frustrating when, you know, the, the sloppy ones that kind of just get a, get a little bit away from them? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I don't think it's guys trying to play selfishly. It's just uh, trying to make a play, maybe do, doing a little too much. Um, but most of them are plays of aggression. So we have to try and minimize those, but you know, this team's very, very physical, very active, uh, very handsy. So, you know, going in, you have there's ball security is going to be, you know, of the utmost importance. You know, it's, you know, another slow start. Casey Pugh uh, last night said, we got to get rid of this lazy mentality. I think he called it early. Um, from your perspective, you know, where do you see the slow starts coming from? Uh, you know, it's, it's a good question because uh, we try to evaluate, you know, is this something we're not doing, something that we're doing that's not working? Um, and we've seen it work. Nothing has really changed about how we, we've, we're trying to play. It's just, um, you know, it's not in sync right now. So we've got to find a way to kind of get our mojo back. Uh, you know, playing with that, that energy and pace and uh, you know, early thrust that we want to see, hopefully while minimizing the turnovers, you know, cleaning up some of the, uh, you know, some of the defensive mistakes, breakdowns, uh, th those areas that hurt you, uh, obviously on the glass. I thought they were the you know more aggressive team. I know the numbers don't bear it out, but whether it was the second chance points or those 50-50 balls, a lot of those were timely plays when we're trying to make a run. Could never kind of get over that, that hump. Just one last one for me. Um, those last three quarters, is that something you can build on? You finally get, you know, Bill kind of find Brad found his shot again. Um, Daniel got back to the rim again. It seems like um that was at least a foundation that you can say, okay, well, throughout that first quarter and um, got some good stuff happening. Yeah, offensively, sure. Uh, you know, the <laughs> defensive side is, you know, is, is still a bit, bit concerning. We've, we've been trending in the wrong direction in that area. So we got to find a way to clean that up, get back to uh, how we play those first 10 to 12 games. You know, really we're heavily, heavily reliant on our defense. And I think at times, now that we're scoring a few points, we're, we're kind of taking a back seat to that. Josh. Coach, your team attempted 15 threes, hit a high percentage. Uh, was that a product of a concerted effort to get more thrust to the rim, uh, a concerted effort discussed between these last two games? Um, not necessarily. I mean, I think it, I mean, these last two teams in particular, they're very aggressive as far as, you know, on any drive. So, you know, that's going to be the only outlet you have being aware of how teams uh, are guarding you. Um, and I think that's an important part of your, your game plan. It's not just the defense. Um, and th those are the type of shots you want to generate. You know, the driving kicks, you know, the paint threes, getting downhill, attacking, uh, finding the open man, uh, not only you know, swing, swing passes, but secondary drives. So once we get teams scrambling, I think that helps you know, elevate our shot quality. As you and your coaches evaluate what you can do to avoid the first half, first quarter deficits, will you consider a, a, a starting lineup change or a, a significant rotation order change? Uh, anything's on the table. I mean, we're, we're not where we want to be. You know, we, haven't, we haven't played well, so I can't sit here and say you know things are absolute. Uh, or we're going to you know sp specifically one thing or the other. Um, we're going to take a, a hard look at it and see what we like don't and what we don't like, uh, why things all of a sudden aren't working. So I, I don't know if it's, um, you know, more or less the lineup. Maybe it's just our approach, our, our purpose and our energy. Uh, maybe it's just a lack of concentration. I'm not sure. As you make it, I recognize it's a, there are a bunch of factors. Are there any particular factors that uh, will, will be weighed and considered um, as, as you try to evaluate that? Oh, uh, yeah. So, I mean, you got to look at how we've played, how individuals have played, and how the combinations have played. Um, you know, all those things are 
are factors into why you would make a change. So it's not necessarily the you know, lineups. It could be, um, you know, substitution patterns. You know, are we running guys too long? You know, not running certain combinations together long enough. Um, I think we have to evaluate all of those things. Thank you. Chase. Hey, hey Wes, so just what is the update on Davis at this point? Um, I, have, I don't know the medical term. Is he had a little bit of an illness, um, a stomach illness. So I'm not sure exactly to what extent, but he was not comfortable uh, to, you know, to continue to play. And it looked like uh, in the second half you had a lineup. It looked like Denny Avdia and Bradley Beal were the, the backcourt. Um, just why did you kind of go to that group and, and what did you like about it? Uh, obviously, ball handling, um, you know, playmaking, we can get that with Aaron and Howell as well. Give, it just gives us a little bit more size. Uh, so as we switch, you know, hopefully it minimizes the impact, you know, uh, teams can have on the offensive glass. It obviously didn't work, but, you know, that, that's the, uh, the genesis of the idea. Neil. Hey, Coach, going off that, you know, then he had a couple of drives where once he finished himself, once he, you know, dumped it off to Kuzma, what do you like about him being, you know, somewhat that primary ball handler role, and where do you think he can still improve in that role? Well, I think uh, it's tough because he hasn't had a ton of reps being, you know, in that in that spot. He's all usually a secondary ball handler, uh, second side pick and roll player. So learning the offense, in that role, I think it's difficult on the fly, but we just have to keep a small package of plays where uh, he kind of get up to speed in that area, but it just gives you more flexibility. You know, we've seen Kyle do that. You know, to have Denny as another guy, I think once again, um, allows Brad the freedom to play on and or off the ball. Uh, gives you another guy who can play make on the floor. So at least you have always have two ball handlers. Uh, but we'll see where it goes. I, I just like the fact he's capable of it. And he's comfortable doing it. We just have to kind of figure out what's best uh, best way to use it. Thanks, Coach. Safe travels. Thank you. Last question to Wayne. How you doing, Coach? Uh, Pre-game, we just talked about the category of points in the paint. What makes it so difficult with Sabonis and Miles Turner down there that uh, just causes teams trouble? Well, the size, you know, and it's not necessarily direct post-ups where he's just, you know, throwing it into him possession after possession. Um, he's obviously, you know, really skilled player, but uh, from a team-wide concept, they're cutting, uh, they're, they're aggressive drivers. Uh, both of those two bigs are, are rim rollers, so uh, they put a lot of pressure on you constantly. And if you're not in the right spot early, uh, hand activity to get deflections, they're, they're just going to live in the paint. You know, you couple that with the offensive rebounds, putbacks, uh, it, it can really take its toll. Obviously, with 64 paints, point paints points in the paint rather um it, it's not ideal uh it's an area that uh that really hurt us tonight and it's something we have to clean up and lastly coach uh you said it before you're not going to feel sorry for yourself because of the schedule back to backs were you happy with the effort uh despite you know the travel and everything that you said you said you got in late were you at least pleased with the effort from the team tonight yeah no i, I vocalized that to the group you know obviously it's not the outcome we wanted um, but I can't fault the effort. I thought we played hard, not always, you know, with, with the right uh, purpose. A lot of a lot of mistakes that we we have to clean up. But uh, I can't fault the effort at all. We competed, so I'm, I'm proud of those guys for for being able to stick with it. We, we didn't quit. Obviously, the, the score is not reflective of you know really the uh, length of the game. But uh, very easy on the second half of back to back. They said, you know, we, we don't have it tonight but I'm happy that we will continue to fight, stay in the game, and try to give ourselves a chance. Feeling any different, or how are you feeling today, Christian? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, I feel okay. Um, obviously, besides the, the loss. Otherwise, I feel good. Body feels good. Mentally, I feel good. Um, we got some guys kind of been sick the last few days, so I'm just being out. Or less, you know, I feel good. Anything different that got you back in the groove, or it's just, hey, that's going to come? Come. Uh, just got to continue to build on it. Yeah, I found, found a little rhythm tonight. Uh, hopefully, I'll keep it going. But uh, ultimately, the only thing that matters is winning. So, yeah, I found my rhythm, which is a step that in a positive direction. But at the same time, we're 2-8 and eight in the last 10. 
So that's a step in the wrong direction. Uh, and we gotta we gotta figure it out. You know, nobody's gonna feel sorry for us. And uh, the only thing that matters is winning. You uh, another slow start. Uh, turnovers that first quarter kind of put you guys in a hole. You know, you guys you know, pretty much dead even or ahead uh, the final three quarters. Um, from your perspective, you know what's happening during these slow starts. I feel like we're talking about that a lot. Uh, like you said tonight, it was definitely turnovers. Um, the last few games, it was just more or less our pace, our execution. Uh, I would say Toronto game, we just, I would say we just didn't make shots early on. Tonight, we just turned the ball over way too much. When you turn the ball over, I think they got like 20 plus points over our turnovers. It's we're never going to win. You know, it's, it's, it's always tough to, uh, you know, we're playing catch up in the first quarter. Uh, I think we had like 12 or 18 at night. And same thing last game. So it was. It's just getting off to better starts. You know, we got to, one, it starts with defense. You know, we get stops without a transition. One, we get getting easier looks for us. Um, you know, we're able to get some, get our rhythm that way, you know, versus playing against set defenses all the time. You know, so uh, it's kind of twofold. You know, we got, we get stops, we get out in transition, we go. Uh, but on offense, you know, we got to, we just got to make shots. It's just, it's got to keep shooting. That's good for me. Appreciate you. Josh, um, Brad, uh, to what degree do you feel like the team is just pressing a little bit on offense uh, and making um, really a product of, of effort, trying to make things happen? Uh, somewhat. I think every now and then uh, we'll have a tendency to want to make a play um, as an individual. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it look, sometimes the results end up being bad. Uh, that's from everybody. I, even, I have my moments, too. Um, but it's it's from a it's from a good place because everybody wants to be impactful, everybody wants to have some type of input on the game, um, and put pressure on another team. And so you know, respectfully, you know, we all uh, when we do it, you know, it's 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 the right mindset. But it's you know, we got to make sure we do it within the flow of the offense. We're not breaking off plays. You know, we're not just coming down on one on zero or one pass shots. Um, you know, really get the ball moving, get body slowing, and take advantage of some some things that we have on the floor and matchups that we have on the floor. Um, and I think when we do that, we were able to get what we want. You know, I think the, the stagnant possessions and uh, the waste of possessions are what hurt us on top of the turnovers. I think one of the phrases coach just used with us was uh, the team's got to get mojo back. Uh, how does how does your team do that? Uh, one, you got we got to get back to the joy of the game. And I think that was something I've I've been trying to find individually over the last the whole year, I would say, uh, you know, finding that joy, finding, you know, your juice, you know, getting your rhythm back. Um, and once you do that, it kind of, you, you more or less take off, you know, and I think we just hit a little adversity uh, from early in the year. And now we have to figure out how do we, how do we climb out of that? You know, and I, I love the fact we're in this position because it, this helps build our character. This helps build us up as a team, um, you know, moving forward down the line too. So, Granted, we don't love being here, but I think it's necessary. You know, it's, it's definitely humbling us um, in a way that we need to figure out, you know, how to be better as a team. If we really want to be this really good team, really great team, we got to figure out the way, figure out ways to win consistently. You know, I think the way we were winning in the past wasn't sustainable and it's showing now. Thank you. Chase. Brad, uh, in hindsight, how important was it for you guys to get off to such a good start this season as you now go through this stretch? And what does it do for you guys to know that you can play like that? It's the same group of players that, that won 10 of 13. Uh, I mean, we it's it's from a positive mindset. Like, we don't – I don't hit the panic button, and I'm not hitting the panic button. I don't think anybody here is hitting the panic button. Uh, but there is a sense of urgency that needs to increase from everybody, you know, just in terms of our approach, our effort. Uh, we just got to just give a little bit more effort. Um, and, you know, we have the skill, we have the talent, you know, that's never in question or a problem. It's, it's, you know, can we take these challenges individual, individually and as a team collectively? You know, can we fight through adversity collectively? Um, and this is still, like we always said, it's still a work in progress. You know, we, we are still chipping away. We're still figuring out a lot of things on the fly uh, with little practice time. But at the same time, we're pros. We got to go out there and get the job done. So, uh, you know, we I don't love the position we're in, but it's necessary. Like I said before, you know, we're very humble 
And uh, the only thing we can do is, is, is pull ourselves out of this hole. Nobody's going to feel sorry for us. And uh, related to the turnovers, they had um, 10 blocks and 10 steals. It's uh, quite a bit. Was there something you guys were doing that kind of played into their hands in that regard, or, or is just kind of tip your cap? Uh, a little bit of both. We, uh, obviously, we know Miles Turner was no more shot blocker coming into tonight. Um, this is a team that's very active. You know, Carlisle's teams are always active defensively. Uh, and then they have the personnel that they want to get after you. You know, Karras gets after you. Malcolm gets into your, into your skin. Uh, everybody, you know, you got strong Sabonis down there. They got Turner kind of anchoring the back end. So uh, they have a really, really solid defensive team. And it's just uh, they, they were very active. They were physical. Um, and stuff, I think sometimes we were indecisive on what we wanted to do at the, at the Last minute, whether shooting floaters, dumping off the bigs, throwing lobs to bigs, or kicking off the threes, you know, we gotta we gotta be more decisive. You know, uh, granted, you know, guys are pros, you respect them. You know, they're they're very talented at what they do. Uh, but we we gotta be better at being better in our decision making. Obviously, you know, guys got in a little bit of a hole in the first quarter, and pretty good from then on out. But hard to get out of that uh, deficit. Just from your perspective, you know, where'd you guys kind of get out of control there? I know a lot of turnovers kind of say that. Yeah, I think it started with the turnovers. Uh, I think towards I got two turnovers and free layup. So those are the ones that we really got to cut over. I threw one uh, right to Jeremy. I don't know if they scored out of it, but that's a possession that we didn't have to score. So just the turnovers, really. We got to cut down the turnovers early and just try to take care of the ball. Just being a little bit sloppy with the ball? Or really I mean, I feel like it's all in good thought, honestly. Um, I wouldn't say we were sloppy. I felt like we played hard. But um, they just did a good job of being aggressive on defense. And tonight's when Spencer has to, um, you know, sit down. You know, it's an opportunity for you. Uh, how do you kind of approach that? How do you think? Um, you felt, how'd you feel tonight? Um, I feel good. I know when he's obviously has to sit out, and I assume it will start. So just look forward to those games. You know, you gotta play big minutes, play starters minutes, and just get out there and be comfortable. Make the game easy for. Um, Sorry, make the game easy for my teammates and just try to play hard on the defensive end. Josh. Aaron, uh, how does this team get its mojo back? I don't know. That's a great question. Uh, it's a long season. Uh, we obviously started off hot, got hit a little losing streak as of late, but we just got to get back to how we played at the beginning of the season. Uh, just moving the ball, um, getting stops on defense. I feel like our defense really held us down for a while. So we got to get back to really locking in on the defensive end, I think. Tonight was um, turnovers, as you said, to create the first half um, deficit. Are there any kind of commonalities in some of these early deficits your team is facing that can be corrected? Like it always can be corrected, um, whether that's just energy, taking care of the ball, um, playing defense. Those are correctable things. Those are things we can control. So, again, we just got to brush all these, these few losses off and uh, get back to the drawing board and execute our, our defense and offense. Thank you very much. Neil. Hey, Aaron, I'm curious how Spencer tries to help you or, you know, just the team in general when he's, you know, sitting out, but maybe, you know, communicating things that he's seeing that, you know, maybe you guys can take advantage of. Uh, for sure. We're always talking. Obviously he's on the bench with us. Um, uh, just tell me what he sees. I'm telling him what I see uh, on the court and just try to pick his brain that way. Obviously he's a great player in this league, been here for a while. So that helps me. That helps me a lot. Uh, just coming to the bench and seeing the game better. And how would you describe the team's overall, you know, mood and, you know, say confidence level? I mean, personally, I know I'm confident. So we're going to figure this out. We're going to get through it. And I feel like as a team, we know how good we are. We know how good we can be. So knowing that, I feel like we're pretty confident going into uh, our next game in Detroit. Thanks, Aaron. Safe travels. Appreciate it. I think that there's one more in-person question. And how did it feel to be back playing against the franchise that you started your career with for a few years? Uh, it was awesome. Uh, obviously, I haven't been here since I got traded, but it was pretty cool seeing everybody, familiar faces. 
um, getting to talk to people and just catching up. Did it mean any more to you to be back and against those guys that you played with for so long? I mean, it, it was uh, it was the same as playing them in, in D.C. It was great to see them, obviously. I just spent the summer a little bit with them, so it was good to get out there and see them. Obviously, on a different team, but I enjoyed it. Fortunately, I'm not sure if you were able to see your brother here. Were you able to catch up with any family while in the city? Um, yes, I was able to uh, see my parents, my mother and father-in-law, uh, and obviously I couldn't see Justin. So.